We've got to get out of here. They're going to kill us. How exactly do you expect all of us to get out of here? There's no way to remove these ties. So sad. You want so bad to save everyone, but you can't even save yourself. I don't care if I go back to jail. At least I'll know that I finished what I started. Soon this place will be shut down and my life can finally begin anew. So great. Man, I gotta pee. Well, I'm not gonna do it at my own desk. Such a relief. <sighs> oh, hey, Shalane. Uh, don't you knock? This is a classroom, not a bathroom. What is you doing? Why is your pants down? I like the way that the leather on the chair makes my booty hole tingle. Well, I then. Okay, I was peeing. Don't freaking pester me. You peeing in Miss Aunt Shirley's chair? Who are you, Karen? What, you can't hear now? I can hear just fine. I'm just curious as to why you're peeing in her chair. Well, I wasn't going to pee in my own chair. That's disgraceful. So are you. It's a human nature. You're the one with the crooked teeth. Hey, I'm back. Cause I, I, I ain't a star tonight, so watch me bring the fire, set the night light. The shoes on, get up in the mood, cup of milk, let's rock and roll. Sing song when I'm 
Can I buy a vowel? Like W? So, they uh, let you back in school, huh? Yeah, they uh, called my parents earlier today. That's great. Now fight! Asha, if it's okay with you, I would like a chance to explain everything. I would love to hear it. I guess sitting here with you now just makes me realize that you wasn't the one who attacked me that night. I would never do anything to hurt you. You know that. I know. And I'm sorry for jumping the gun so quickly. It's just... When I saw that text under your name, I just couldn't think of anything but that. I get it. But like I said, I'd never hurt you. I said fight, not make up. That's the exact opposite. <laughs> Did I miss something? Madison's been going through a pretty tough breakup. Wait. Madison's going through a breakup. When did she even get a boyfriend? When someone went completely bonkers and thought she was pretty. Who was the guy? Some douchebag named Blade. <gasps> Blade! <laughs> My bad. How long has this been going on? A few days. And it's freaking annoying. Like, just get.
Get over it already. Don't let it get you down. Wipe away those salty tears and get on that stripper pole, girl. Of course, nobody likes an ugly stripper. I don't want to be a stripper. We don't want you to either, sweetie. People need vision. <laughs> Morning. <laughs> Bye. She is such a good friend. She doesn't want to see me like this. Some of us don't want to see you at all. Everybody, ah, Ashen, you just returned like that. Why you not tell me? I was hoping you had moved away. <laughs> oh, Ashen, you still just so funny. <laughs> I wasn't joking. I'm seriously not joking. <sighs> okay, Ashen, that's enough. No more play game, okay? Still not joking. Okay, I say start there right now! You still near dead yet? Must you start with me? Yes, I must. What's wrong? <laughs> That's what it used to sound like when Blake texted me. <laughs> Just shut up. Hey guys. Ashton, what's up? Yeah, not much. Mr. Harold and Evelyn finally let me come back to school. <laughs> yeah, I see that. It's great to have you back. Well, you're not gonna be here long. The school's getting shut down soon. Wait, what? You're kidding. Nope. It's the best news that I've ever had since I found out that my mom wasn't having another baby. I hate babies. Taking the doctor so long. Who knows? Probably back there smoking or snorting something. Frank! Well, I don't know what they do! They probably are!
Frank and Evelyn. What is about time? What took you so long? I'm sorry, I was smoking. Something. Told ya! Just be quiet. Put your hands on me one more time. That's it. Oh, I dare you. So, what's the... That's what I thought! Would you just be quiet so that the doctor can tell us how Charlie is doing? Would you go ready to jump out that window over there? Frank, just be quiet. Shh. I'm gonna be honest with you two, there ain't even no damn papers in here. But let me tell you what's happening, alright? The surgery was a complete success, but Shirley's gonna be under the hospital supervision until she's recovered. Well, why would y'all recover her? What was wrong with the one she had? Are you serious? Yes. He's not talking about blankets. He's talking about Shirley getting better. Well, how was I supposed to know what he meant? You are the principal of a high school. People expect you to know simple vocabulary. Well, they better look like keeping their expectations low. Anyways, y'all, Shirley's doing just fine right now. She's in bed resting. And hopefully she will be on her way home soon. Goodbye. Thank you, Doctor. Evelyn! Yes? What is your husband like? Is he like a doctor? No, no. My husband's a lawyer. See, he helps with all kinds of people in need of legal secure. He's worked with people who do inappropriate things on the streets and even provides them a more convalescent route. He's a wonderful man who... All right, I guess we're leaving. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> Just shut up. Please, shut up. <laughs> shut up! You're an ugly crier! <laughs> Ew. Hi, guys. Kristen, what's up? Nothing much. Just that my doctor wants me to start dieting. Okay. This I have to see. Okay, go ahead. Do it. Start your diet. Okay. First off, my doctor said that I need to start eating more food with iron. What are you doing? Eating food with iron? You can't be this dumb. You just can't be. What? Eat food with iron in it. What is wrong with you? What's wrong with me? What's wrong with you? Why would I put iron in my food? 
You are such an ignoramus. Oh. Life just keeps getting worse. <laughs> Does anybody know if Sarah's here yet? Who? Sarah was supposed to be here 20 minutes ago. Who is Sarah? Oh my God, how come every time I say something, y'all act like y'all don't know what I'm talking about? Uh, how come every time that people just talk those words from their mouth, you never hear it? Yeah. She's so stupid. <laughs> Y'all know I gotta teach Sarah's class because she hasn't even shown up yet, damn it. Who is Sarah? What class? She's got like five puppies in that class and she ain't even here yet. Puppies? This isn't a school for dogs. Oh my god. I like puppies. For what? Dinner? <gasps> no. No dog for dinner. Can somebody clean up the women's restroom? Sarah used it and overflowed the toilet again, and I would clean it up, but I don't have the time. Not it. Who is Sarah? I gotta type up the attendance sheet for tomorrow. Sarah's gonna have to teach her own damn class. Oh my god! Why is the chair wet? No idea. Well, somebody has to know. Well, we don't. Well, I know somebody had to have done it. Now my butt's all wet. You pee on yourself? You know I don't do that. Actually, Karen, I don't know what you do. Maybe it's karma for not getting my lemon pledge. Oh my God. Sherry. I hope she stinks now. Mary Imperil, head of the school board, correct? That is correct. Well, it is very nice to meet you personally. May I take a seat? Of course. Thank you. Marion, 
I must say, I was expecting to meet with Frank and Evelyn. May I ask what this is about? Certainly. Miss Hamilton, we've all been down a very bumpy road here lately, and I'm sure I have all the answers to all your questions. Well, I surely hope so. Do tell. I'm sure you're aware of Anglin High's former principal, James Phoenix. I am absolutely well aware of said person. What of him? Well, let me begin with how he tried to poison Frank just to gain that position from him. My goodness, well, that is incredibly heinous. You can't be serious. <laughs> well, that's just the beginning. Let's just say it's a long story. Please proceed. I have the time to listen. Puppies? This isn't a school for ho- uh, uh, um, I got greens, beans, potatoes, tomatoes, lamb. <laughs> I'm so sickly. Okay. I'm actually okay. Thank you. Marion, I must say, I was expecting to meet with friend- Meek. Oh. Oh. I know. And I'm sorry for jumping the gun so quickly. Would you just be quiet so the doctor can tell us how Shirley's doing? Shh. Don't mind this rude woman, doctor. Okay, that was... We forgot it. <laughs> I am absolutely well... well uh, it's freaking annoying. Like, for real. Just get over it already. Wipe away those salty tears from your ugly face and stuff. I... with you two. There ain't even no damn papers in here. But I'll let you know what's happening. The sh- uh, the Shirley. <laughs> ah. I guess sitting here with you now makes me realize that you wasn't a Something. What is your husband like? Is he a doctor? No. No, my husband's a lawyer. <laughs> I'll be honest with you two, there ain't even no damn papers in here, but I'll let you know what's happening. The surgery was a complete success, so, but, uh, something. I forgot. 
I am absolutely well aware of him. No. Thank you, Doctor. Evelyn! Yes? What is your husband like? Is he like a doctor? No, no. My husband's a lawyer. He's... <laughs> a lawyer! He's a liar! <laughs> <laughs> well... I forgot it. <laughs> Again! Anyways, right now she's doing just fine. Uh, she's re- uh, yeah. <laughs> Told ya! Just be quiet! I guess.